Welcome to Token Post Daily News Briefing, where we provide you with the latest and most exclusive news on blockchain and cryptocurrency. Our top stories today include a NEM blockchain-powered copyright system for journalists, a new crypto exchange takes on BitMEX and BACT to offer Bitcoin futures, and the Ethereum Classic 51% attack. Stay tuned for more. I'm your host Hun, and this is your Daily News Briefing. The NEM Foundation in Argentina has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the local trade union of journalists. According to Cointelegraph, the NEM Foundation signed the MOU with CISPRIN to develop a blockchain-powered copyright solution for journalists. CISPRIN, a journalist trade union located in central Argentina, aims to develop a proof-of-concept product to enforce journalists' copyright. According to the press secretary of CISPRIN, Using their product, authors will now be able to upload their content on the blockchain to create a timestamp. Publishers using the technology will be able to append a QR code and digital signature to articles serving as an additional safeguard in the case of copyright infringement. Blockchain technology has been mentioned numerous times for its application in the copyright sector. A number of blockchain media projects such as Civil and the Published Protocol seek to apply blockchain technology to uphold copyright, ensure content immutability, and show their commitment to transparency. With this new project, we are one step closer to restoring trust in journalism. The competition heats up as CoinFlex announces the launch of another physically settled Bitcoin futures product. According to Mark Lamb, the CEO of the new exchange, CoinFlex will be offering futures contracts for BTC, BCH, and Ether, which can be leveraged up to 20 times. On the surface, the product might seem similar to that of BitMEX. However, one major difference of the product is that it will be physically settled, similar to that of FACT, another physically settled Bitcoin futures developed by the New York Stock Exchange. Rather than settling trades in cash upon contract expiration, trades will be settled in cryptocurrencies when their contract expires. However, CoinFlex does not represent a direct competitor for BitMEX or the New York Stock Exchange. In an interview with Bloomberg, the CEO stated that CoinFlex will remain offshore and largely focus on the Asian region rather than the United States. An interesting turn of events for the crypto industry as another futures product is set to be launched. Is this another sign of renewed interest in crypto following the bear market of 2018? Only time will tell. Overnight, the Ethereum Classic community came under the fear of a 51% attack on the network. Just recently, the Ethereum Classic blockchain saw more than 100 blocks reorganized within the network, which included a suspected double spend of $460,000. In response to the attack, Coinbase froze trading of the cryptocurrency on its exchange until further notice. A few hours later, however, Ethereum Classic's development team came out saying that a double spend had not taken place and that it was most likely so-called a selfish mining act by ASIC manufacturer Lindsay. According to the same ETC announcement, Lindsay set out to test its new 1400 megahash ETHAS machines on the Ethereum Classic network. The excess hash power generated by Lindsay was interpreted as a potential 51% attack on the network. Looking at a blockchain explorer of the ETC blockchain, on January 7th, it became apparent that an anonymous miner named 0x3ccc8f74 accounted for the larger than normal hash rate. While the suspected miner was later confirmed as Lindsay, this led to the fear of a 51% attack where one entity attempts to take over the network. This in turn raised concerns of a potential double spend, a concern which according to Coinbase turned out to be justified when it detected a double spend in the amount of $460,000. However, contrary to the claims of Coinbase, the ETC representatives stated that there were no such double spends during that time. While the team is yet to put out an official statement against the claims of Coinbase, more is to be seen as the situation develops. Epic Games, the developer of the well-known video game Fortnite, announced that the addition of Monero within their payment system was an accident. Last week, Token Post Korea reported on the addition of Monero on Fortnite's official merchandise store, 
Later on, however, a tweet posted by Tim Sweeney, the CEO of Epic Games, corrected that the addition of crypto payment had been accidental. To quote, he cited that somewhere along the way, Monero payment was enabled. Following the tweet, the CEO stated that while Epic Games was indeed a big fan of the underlying technology of cryptocurrency, there will still be some concerns regarding its volatility and security. Tim Sweeney went on to say that Epic currently does not have any cryptocurrency partners, nor are they in talks with any. While some are disappointed at the announcement, some believe that this may be a precursor to Fortnite's adoption of cryptocurrencies in the coming future. Bringing the latest news to you, I'm your host Hun with the Token Post Daily News Briefing. Thanks for watching.